The answer is yes, you can have an amazing short game practicing at home. And I got, uh, I got something special for you. Let's go. All right, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you're doing awesome out there wherever you may be. And uh, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything. And today, we're checking out this little doodad right there. You know what it is. You probably have one or have seen them. And uh, it is the Blast Motion sensor. I've had it for a little while, but it hasn't, uh, it hasn't been exciting until just now. Let me show you why. Okay, if you uh, have followed my channel for a while, you know exactly where I am. I'm in my backyard and my net setup is back there. I have about 30 yards from here to there, which is where we're gonna start. And if you don't have this space, not to worry. I just am using it to show you the capabilities of your blast motion sensor. And if you have one, link in the description below. If you have an old one, you might need a new one, uh, but you definitely have to upgrade the firmware of this, pretty easy to do. Just uh, update your app on your phone and then update your firmware. Put the thing in the holder like so. It's not the easiest thing to put in, but whatever. You get your guy, your blast motion man there in the shade, okay? And this just goes on the end of your club, like so. Comes with a couple different connectors. And then you just make sure your little man is uh, facing up. Doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, it's gotta be close. Then you just go into your um, Blast Golf app after you've updated it. It has a new look to it, in case you're used to the old look. You have a new look, sensors connected right away. I love it. Now they've redone it. So it's a million times better than it was. I was using it for putting pretty much only and it, it is fantastic. It really helped my putting uh, game. Although I did go crazy for a few uh, days while I was trying to figure out my life on with my putter. We'll get to that in another video. But now in the app, there's different modes. We're gonna do short game today for this video because I want you to have the greatest short game ever when you go back on the course. And this app now can help you do that at home, whether you're two feet from your net or back here, it doesn't matter. So I've got my short game app set up and I'm gonna go just swing. And then you wanna update your view, your layout, and I'm gonna add on that layout, I wanna know my attack angle and I wanna see it in the app. That's the key piece for you, okay? So I got that, we're gonna see that. And I've got the swing tempo and all that other stuff here as well. I wanna know all that. And I'm just practicing for now. I have a 54 degree wedge, SM8 Vokey wedge, using my uh, Pro V1 balls. And I have about 30 yards, okay? So this is, this is important to, to where I'm going. Okay, so now what I'm looking at, okay, is my swing tempo. You want everything in the green, okay? Your swing tempo is 2.2 to one, depending on your handicap level, it gives you a range of things of where you want that. My, but what I'm looking at is my attack angle. And what I love here is it's got a little graph. It doesn't give me the specific angle, but it gives me a range of what's super down versus level versus up. And I want to be, with my wedge, more shallow than steep. And right now, I'm kind of on the steeper end, okay? And the reason I don't want to be too much coming down in the ball, your attack angle is how steep you come into that ball, okay? So I'm going to work on getting that more shallow than steep. So just looking at that, I know I need to come a little bit more from the inside as opposed to the outside, because I'm trying to shallow it out. 
and already I made better ball contact and you can see I'm a, at a different place now on the app. It shows it moved closer to level and, and you can feel the level of ball contact you have when it's more shallow versus more steep. So I want to work on that. Everything else is great. Okay. It gives me swing speed, my backswing and downswing times, total swing time, but tempo is the key. You really want to have the right tempo and for me, attack angle. And then as we work on different drills, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can change different attack angles in later videos as we go. But I just want to show you this little thing and what it could do for you in terms of your practice indoor. Okay. Cause I'm just looking at my attack angle now and I want to see that. I'm like, okay, I like it. I want to go a little more shallow. Can I do that? Did you get it? Oh, it's about the same. And so I'm looking at that and I'm like, okay, that's good. I like my attack angle. And now that you have the feeling of the shallow swing, what you can do is work on, okay, with this wedge, if you've got 30 yards or so to practice, that's great. Okay. I like that. But I also want to look at my swing speed. Now I'm at 37 miles an hour. Okay. 37 gets me this far. Nice little pitch shot, long pitch. That was a little too slow. So I want to speed it up. The one thing I wish this did have is distance. I wish it told me how far this club was going. It doesn't have that. They do have the capability to make it do it, but it's not perfectly accurate. So they left it off. So let's go close to the net because that might be where you are. And I'll show you just how to use it in your net setup so that you can really get the best benefit of your short game practice. Come on. Okay. So this is great. I mean, I've got a little distance between me and my net. I can get closer. But what I want to do in terms of my short game practice and really what is going to save you many times are those 30, 40 yard shots where you're pitching the ball, because those are the ones that you're farther from the hole. You were in trouble off the tee. You need to pitch it and get it close, or you're looking to make birdie on these par five. So that's the shot I'm looking for. I've got my app. I've got the, all the analytics here that I need, and I'm just going to aim at different pieces of my net and try to have the exact same swing that I had back there, that 30, I know the speed, right? 39 miles per hour, right in there, just under 40. So I'm aiming left side, little pitch shot. Okay. How 34, little slow. So I know, okay, little longer swing. I don't want to increase my tempo. I just want to lengthen the swing a little bit. It will speed up the, uh, the speed. So a little longer swing. Okay. So that was 39 miles an hour, but I got an indication that my attack angle was too steep and it just told me that. So it did feel different, but a lot of times you feel contact with the ball differently. You don't necessarily know what it is. Was it the, was it the attack angle or was it just, you made bad ball contact? Now, you know, and that's what I want. So, okay. I got too steep there trying to get a longer swing. So let me shallow it out. And what was that? So a little better, but still on the steeper end than, uh, than anything. And my swing speed was way too fast. So again, I'm able to work in the net and know exactly what's going on as opposed to just hitting shot after shot after shot into a net. I'm really, getting my feel for my, my short game shots. Great. That was the right speed. And my attack angle is nice and shallow. I like that. The only difference on my downswing time was a little slower than it should be. So I, it's a little bit of a deceleration, not much, but it's not bad. So try to correct that. and get that feel that I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. That one was perfect. Swing tempo is pretty good. Maybe a little too long. Attack angle is right where I want it to be. So 
in your short game, you know, if you're at home and you can't play, this is really where you're going to need the most practice to take your game on the course and have the feel and touch you want. So if you're doing little chip shots, try to be consistent with your swing speed and your tempo, but you have to know it. Blast Motion has just upgraded their little sensor for golf to give you the short game shots that you want. And you can also use this on your other longer clubs as well, so you know what is going on in that area as well. But specifically, short game is what you're gonna lose the most when you get to go play again. So you gotta dial it in and get the practice that you need with the statistics so you know exactly what's going on. So anyways, quick look at Blast Motion and what they've just done with their sensor and how you can utilize it in your net home setup during this time. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Check them out. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have this already? Let me know. Good luck to you. Love you guys. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video.